you go through the, the previous one, then you can go, yeah, touch it quickly, go ahead. Okay, sure. Uh, I think I can explain it with the image. It will be better for understanding. Sure. Uh, so from the, this image, we can see this is the AWS server and it shows all the services these are provide. Uh, it, it is providing. So basically, first we need to know what is AWS. So AWS is basically, as uh, Shiblu sir said, um, it is a platform, cloud platform, and that is offered by Amazon. And we know there is a lot of more uh, cloud platform like GCP, which is provided by Google, and there is uh, Azure, which is provided by Microsoft. So there is a lot of cloud platform. Among them, AWS is most popular, and mainly it provides a vast array of cloud-based products and services, which allows us to organize and individuals to build, deploy, and manage our applications, and also the infrastructure in a flexible and scalable way. So these are some services of AWS. Uh, the first one we can see the database. So uh, there is a database service of AWS and the most common database are well known for relational is RDS, which is Amazon RDS, uh, just like our MySQL, SQL Server, Oracle, RDS is used just like that. And for NoSQL, Amazon, uh, Amazon provides uh, amazing uh, DynamoDB uh, database, which is a uh, highly, performanceable for uh, NoSQL databases. And then we can see storage. Uh, so for storage, there are multiple storage options in AWS. One of them is S3, S3 bucket, uh, which will uh, hand, which you, I'll show you the hands-on of S3 bucket later. And um, later we have like application, we can, we can serve our application on AWS EC2 server. EC2 is one of the mostly used uh, services of AWS and for management tools, we have uh, like um, CloudWatch, CloudFormation in AWS and for security purpose, security is mostly uh, uh, most important thing in our nowadays, like in cloud services. So AWS provide a uh, IAM, which is identity and access management for security purpose. So there are uh, lots of services uh, we have in AWS, but today we will discuss about S3 storage and VPC EC2, uh, this. So let me go ahead. So now we'll learn about what is AWS EC2 instance, because for our uh, deployment, we need a AWS EC2 instance. 